Hello, my name is Peter Parfit and welcome to Newbrook Workshop. I just thought I'd point out that you don't just have to keep your track saw cutting station for cutting sheet goods. You can use them for cutting any bits of timber that will fit on the surface. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Now, when you build your own track saw cutting station with the path guide system, uh, you can renew it whenever you want. You can throw away the old bit of MDF you know, cost how much? 10, 20 pounds? Get a new piece and build yourself another beautifully accurate track saw cutting station. But in the meantime, where do you keep the bits? <laughs> now, I have to confess that uh, I've got some in this place here, some which I keep here. It's not really very clever, is it? I did build a box uh, for all of my bits and pieces, which you may have seen, uh, but I gave that away. But luckily, Axminster have come up uh, with the answer. It's a Tanos container, specially designed to take all the components of the path guide system. So in goes the 20 minute dr drill guide, in goes your dust port, the two three millimeter drill guides, the three millimeter drill itself, the 20 millimeter cutter, Remember the little joining pin, which uh, I have to confess, I did lose one of those, but I was lucky enough to be able to pick up a spare. Uh, the locator dogs, which fit in like so, and the three pins. And also, also missing, haha, -ha. And there we go, that's typical. And also nearly went missing is the stop collar for the 20 millimeter cutter, which goes there. So all of those bits are now safely tucked away. And if like me, you've got a couple of path revision dogs you want to put in, well, it's dead simple. Take the locator dogs, invert them like so, put them in there, and then you can put the path revision dogs in like so, and that'll be quite safe when it's all closed up in that container and I can do away with these. That means I can put this away and it'll probably be safely tucked away somewhere until I make the next one. And its part number is 108332 and it's on the Axminster website already. I understand that the, the first few is sold out but you can back order if it's not readily available. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.